Hi, I'm Derek Kilmer, State Senator for the 26th District, which goes from the Narrows Bridge to downtown Bremerton. Today I'm talking to you about one of the world's most fascinating topics, infrastructure. That's right, infrastructure. I know that many of you are likely thinking to yourselves, wow, the next three minutes of this video are really going to be valuable to me as a sleeping aid. Well, my friendly infrastructure skeptics, I'm hoping you'll sit back and listen because infrastructure is sort of interesting and it really matters. So what am I talking about when I talk about infrastructure? Well, infrastructure comes from Latin. Structure meaning structure and infra meaning boring. Infrastructure consists of things like roads and curbs and gutters and wastewater treatment facilities that let our communities handle new economic development that creates jobs. Let me give you an example of why this stuff matters. In Gig Harbor, over the past five years, there have been two building moratoria that have threatened new investment projects from moving forward. First, the new St. Anthony Hospital was almost derailed due to inadequate road infrastructure. Then, other developments in the community were put on hold due to inadequate wastewater infrastructure. Listen, when your wastewater treatment facility is at capacity, you really only have three options. One, you can halt any new housing or economic development. Two, you can make investments to expand your wastewater treatment facility. Or three, you can ask people to stop flushing, which we don't really do because that's gross. This year, I'm actually working on six different bills related to infrastructure investment. Six bills dealing with infrastructure. I know. You're thinking to yourself, wow, that Derek must be a really fun guy to have at dinner parties. And you're right. One of the bills would allow the private sector to step in and establish private wastewater systems in areas where the public sector isn't capable of providing the service. I think we're all conscious of the fact that in these difficult financial times, government simply can't do everything. The notion of enabling the private sector to step in just makes sense. The bill was supported by general contractors and others who appreciate the importance of seeing some private sector development move forward if we're going to get out of this economic mess. Cool, right? Another one of my bills is called Community Revitalization Financing, also known as CRF, and less commonly referred to as CRF. Community Revitalization Financing is focused on helping communities make investments in infrastructure where growth can pay for growth. The idea works like this. Say you have an economically depressed area or an undeveloped area where you're trying to attract new businesses or economic development. But that development can't happen unless you have roads and sewers, parking and the like to support the development. If you had that development already, you'd be bringing in additional revenue from increased property values and economic activity to pay for the infrastructure. The way community revitalization financing works is that it lets you capture that new revenue on the front end, bond against it, and make those public infrastructure investments so that the new private sector economic development can move forward. Now some of you may have fallen asleep way back at the cruft joke. Others may be wondering where they can apply for continuing education credits in public finance. But I'm telling you, this is a tool that can really make a difference. It's a tool that's worked in 48 of the 50 states, and I'm confident it can work in Washington too. That's why more than a dozen economic development professionals from throughout the state showed up in support of the bill when we had a hearing on it recently. I'm hopeful that we can keep the bill cooking through the legislative process. My third bill makes some needed reforms to a program called the Public Works Trust Fund. This too is an important bill. The state usually spends a few hundred million dollars each year from the Public Works Trust Fund. The Public Works Trust Fund provides financial and technical assistance to Washington communities for critical public health, safety, and environmental infrastructure. My bill works to make sure we're getting the most bang for our buck. And in times like these where bucks are limited, that's important. The bill tries to ensure that when state tax dollars are being put toward an infra infrastructure project, that it's a project that wouldn't move forward otherwise, and as a project that fulfills some needed policy objective, from ensuring safe uh, drinking water, to cleaning up stormwater, to growing jobs. There are other infrastructure bills that I've sponsored too, but at this point I'm going to wrap up since most folks watching at home have now switched over to the paint drying channel for something more interesting. I hope you've enjoyed this video update. For those of you watching on YouTube, I encourage you to pass this one on to your friends. I'm confident that soon we'll have more page hits than the cat playing the piano and the laughing baby video. Again, I'm Derek Kilmer. Thanks for watching.